Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, happy birthday to Jonathan Bost, who sent us this puzzle, which not only celebrates his birthday today, and it also would have been my mother's birthday, so happy birthday to her. Um, but it features his age in a, an otherwise useless killer cage. We will find out what age Jonathan Bost is. Now, he recently sent us a puzzle on this uh, with this rule set before. Well, recently, sorry, back in April. Not recently, quite a while ago. But um, we like the rule set, and he's come up with another one, and it commemorates his birthday. So I'm going to give it a try. We'll see how we do. He did say that there was an easier version um, which told us what his birthday was and therefore filled in these two cells. But what the heck, let's take it on with the harder version. Uh, he also wanted us to mention his YouTube channel, um, which he's just started, where he plays the piano and sometimes sings. And on Monday, we'll be uh, playing Hedvard Grieg's piano concerto in A minor, which, well, I hope he plays all the right notes in the right order. That's just a little joke, very apt joke for any Morkman Wise fans. Um, anyway, let's let's tell you what's going on on the channel at the moment. So we're streaming tomorrow, tomorrow evening, uh, Saturday evening at 10 p.m. our time. So an hour before this video comes out, we will be streaming Bubba Is You again. Simon and myself taking that on. At some point in the future, he's going to try and go back to Witness World and uh, see if he can find and take on the Music Box Challenge. But um, we'll see when that happens. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, to be honest. Now, what else have we got going on? Well, well, we've got a strange situation Simon may have mentioned with um, our Miracle Sudoku app and Google Play. We released a, an update on the Miracle Sudoku app and Google Play, which is, I think, the um, Android app platform, has suddenly decided that a couple of our, to withdraw a couple of our apps from sale because of repetitive content, because they're too like the other apps. I, we're looking into this. We're trying to find out what's gone wrong. A first appeal has failed. Honestly, there's not a lot of common sense going on, but we hope to get to the bottom of that. Um, also, we had a problem delivering a piece of merchandise to um, a competition winner recently, uh, Jakob Weizer in Germany, uh, in Belgium, sorry. Um, the Belgian post office wanted to charge some exorbitant import duties. Do let us know if you're having problems with merchandise. I think this may be post-Brexit um, and, and import duties. We were really shocked about that. And... Uh, very sorry to Jakob that there's problems. Anyway, that is a means of mentioning, I suppose, that the merchandise is available, that the apps are available. Uh, Patreon and Discord are also on the links under the video. Still five days left to get an answer in for the padlocked puzzle hunt. I think we've just reached 100 correct answers, and we certainly won't get to 200, and that makes it definitely the hardest competition we've run. Um, anyway, that is going on there. And let's have a look at this puzzle and its rule set. So he's, you can see arrows and you're thinking arrow Sudoku rules and they do apply, but there's more because these are therm arrows and digits along an arrow increase from the tip. So the arrows are a bit like thermos. So this must be smaller than this, must be smaller than this. And the three of them add up to the number in the circle. So that's what's going on. And when we've got it done, the cage will show Jonathan's age. So I've written age in the corner. I have no idea what age Jonathan is. I've never met him or seen a picture. Haven't watched his, his YouTube channel yet. So he could be anywhere from, what, 12 to 98. Those are the possible Sudoku ages. Um, no idea. We will find out by the end of the puzzle. Um, looking forward to that, actually, now. And... With that, so let's remember that these arrows increase from the tip. I'm sure that's going to be important. No given digits, as we've refused the help of knowing his age. Let's get cracking. And where do we go? 
go somewhere where there's a lot of arrow cells. I mean, there are various boxes which have a lot of arrow cells. Ooh, this one has an awful lot. See, none of those can be nine because they're all at least two cell arrows. So nine in the central box is in one of those. But actually, I was making my way down to box eight where there aren't quite as many arrow cells, but there is this overlap. So the least that these five cells can add up to is 15. There's one, two, three, four, five adds up to 15. But one of them is counted twice, this one, to make up these two circles. So that's got to be 15 plus at least one is 16, plus two would be 17, which is the maximum. Anyway, again, nine must be in one of these two. They're either nine, seven, or nine, eight. And this is either one or two. I need one degree of freedom on that. And these others, not so clear, but we've sort of got an X-wing on nine straight away. So there is a nine in column five somewhere. It's now got to be in one of those two cells. Can we get further than just writing one or two? I think, yeah, these have to add up to either 16 or 17. So they can't contain, they must contain either a one here, and then these will have to be two, three, four, and six. Is that right? Nine, 15, 17, yes. So six is the maximum number that can be in these cells. I suppose that could be, if this is a two, then these can be 17 if these are one, three, four, five. Now, is that possible? Probably is. I don't know. This is quite hard to think about. Sorry. Let me let me just concentrate a bit more. If that's a two, then you wouldn't have a six anymore. You'd have one, three, four, five. So one of them could be two, five, one, and the other could be two, three, four. Yeah, that is possible. Um, no. Bother. Okay. Right. Let's use the fact then that, oh, they have to ascend though. Okay. That's interesting. Yes. I managed to forget that immediately for a second. Oh, I did want to mention, maybe at the end, I'll come back to the Bremster video yesterday where I observed an important thing that I shouldn't forget and instantly forgot it. So I apologize about that. Right. These have to ascend. So, ah, Ah, oh, so this can't be a two, because then you'd need a one on one of the arrows, and that's not, can't come after the two. That is a one, right? That's better. Okay, so we can remove one from there. This one can't go higher than three now, because if you went one, four, and then a bigger number, you'd exceed nine. So those are, that's a two, three pair, right? Uh, one of these has to be a four, because this is either a four, five, or a four, six pair now. And now with, I feel a bit more as though we're away. Right, this has to be bigger than at least two. So it could go up to seven. This has to be at least five now. Is that all we've learned? Ah, these can't be ones. And nor can that because of the one we've placed. And they can't, they could be four, but they can't be higher. The reason they can go up to four is because there's only one bigger number than four that you can get on a two cell arrow. Obviously, four, five equals nine does work. Now, these must be higher than two. Then they can go up to seven, though. Irritating. Um, this is similar, can go up to seven. No, it can't. This can't be a nine because there's a nine in one of those two cells. So that is eight, seven, six, or five. That can't be seven. Ooh, we're nearly working on a quadruple there. What about this? This is a bit less constrained, unfortunately. This could be one plus eight equals nine. 
Now this rule is quite strong, isn't it? Again, one, two, three, or four there. And this will have to be higher, but it could even be eight. That's not worth filling in the possibilities. Is there anywhere else I can rule nine out of here? I can rule nine out of. So therefore, that can't be four anymore because it would have to go four, five equals nine, but this can't be a nine. So one, two, or three there. A seven there, that's annoying, right? I'm going to fill in three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this might become a pencil marking nightmare, but I'm not really sure how to carry on. Oh, there's a three cell arrow here, isn't there? Oh, well, that has does that have to start with a one? No, it could be two plus three plus four equals nine. This second digit can't be a four, actually. One, four, five is too many, so that can't be higher than three. But then this one could go up to six, one, two, six. Now this has to be at least six. Two and, ah, oh, it doesn't get that done. This one and this one, they're both second digits, so again, one, two, three, or four in the tip of the arrow. It can go up to eight. Ah, where's nine in this row? Right, it's got to be in one of those two cells. Therefore, nine in this row is in one of those two. Now, where's eight in this row? There, that's irritating. Oh, there's a two three pair, so that can't be three, so this can't be five. That's beginning to limit things a bit. Two four. This has to be at least four now. Four, five, six, seven, or eight. I reckon. Yeah, three wouldn't work there. So This row looks, it still looks promising. I'm not giving up on this. Oh, let me, this can't be nine. So this one can't go above three now. Um, anyway, enough about that. Let's come back here. Still worrying away at this row. Ah, oh, this can't be a two. Now, that's getting interesting, actually. This can't be a two, because that would be a one, and this would be a three, but there's a two, three pair. So this has to be higher than a two. Now, this can go all the way up to eight, but I'm now starting to think, where does two go in the row? Yeah, that doesn't work. This is quite clever. If nine and two were in those two cells, which is the only other place two could be apart from here. Just worked out that can't be a four, by the way, but we'll come back to that. If nine and two can't be, if nine and two were in those cells, this is nice. These two would have to be eight and seven which would require these two to be one and two, because they have to be different. And both of these would be nine. Well, this can't be nine, actually. Oh, no, sorry, my earlier deduction that nine was in... Oh, nine is in one of those two cells in the row. Yes, so this can't be nine. That is right. Ah, oh, well, that's helpful. That's not eight. This is going to help. But the deduction is still good. This can't be nine and two here. And the reason is because... That would make these two eight and seven, but that would have to make these two both nines. And in fact, this one can't be a nine. Or rather, okay, the other way to look at it is if that's eight and seven, making a nine and eight total, that makes both of these ones in the same row. And that can't happen. Therefore, two is not in those cells. Where can two be in row eight? It's right here on the arrow. Now, I had just worked out that couldn't be four, partly because it can't make up that eight total. 
Um, anyway, and partly because you can't have two of the same fives. Anyway, never mind about that. This this is now right, actually. Now here, this can't be two or three because we've got the pair. So four, five, six, or seven there. Six, seven, eight, or nine in the circle. This can't be three now. Now, can we go back to thinking about nine and eight? Can eight be here with a one here? Nine, seven. Actually, it can. Oh, and I still haven't quite got a quadruple or quintuple working here. Oh, four is in one of those cells, so these two can't be fours. Hasn't really done anything. I still feel this is about nine and eight. If that's an eight. Ah. If that's an eight, then this is a nine. That's a one. Right. If that's an eight, where does seven go in the row? Once that's a one, this has to be at least two. And now this can't be seven. So if that's an eight, seven's in one of these cells. And otherwise, they are eight along with the nine. So they are from seven, eight, and nine. And it may be that that doesn't even do anything, but once you find it, you get a bit focused. Right, and what I've missed while being focused on that is a one, two, three, triple in column six. So that means these aren't threes. This can't be six anymore because that can't be a three. Ooh, maybe we will get a seven, eight, nine triple suddenly. Um, probably not yet. Is this, that's nearly a five, six, seven, eight, nine quad, but not quite. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. I can't quite see how to keep going here. Right, this can't be two or it could be three. Can't be two because of the total required here. That can't be a one. So the one in this box is in one of these two cells. There is a one in those two, though because of the one, two, three, triple. So that is not a one. And in fact, we can now place one in box five there. Oh, this is so gradual, isn't it? Um, so this isn't a one. No, that's not very helpful. Two, three, or four, four, five, six, seven. Didn't really get anything done. One, two, three, four, six. This could be anything. Ah, oh, where? Okay. Yeah, this digit. Where do eight and nine go in this box? Well, they've got to be confined to those three cells. So one of them is in one of these two, at least, maybe both. But if one of them is in one of those two, this must be either eight or nine. If that's the eight or nine, this is nine. And if this is the eight or nine, it's eight or nine. So it is eight or nine. This, I don't know. I suppose it could be as little as five, irritatingly. Two and three there. One and four there. Ah, that is eight or nine. So this is seven or eight. Um, this is so nearly another quintuple, but not quite. What's this? That's eight, that's seven, that's nine. 
Oh, then that would be nine as well. Yeah, nine's either a pair there or there. Not sure how that helps. Oh, where does three go in this row? Why didn't I ask that? Look, it can't be in any of those cells. Assuming the pencil marking's right, and I'm going to trust it. Three is there, so five is here. Now, this is either one, four, or two, three. Oh, no, there's a two there, so it's one, four. Oh, this is moving. This can't be can't be a two because that would put a three here. It can't be three or four because it sees them. Um, ah, this can't be six because that pair couldn't be made up with one and two having gone. So that's not six and that's not five. Oh, we're getting perilously close to another useful triple. Oh, this is going to have to be three, four, or three, six to use numbers that aren't those and yet make a Sudoku number. So three there, four or six here. This is now not eight, uh, not eight, yes, seven or nine. That's six. Oh, that can't be four because of that. And we are flying suddenly. I mean, I use that term advisedly. Now, this can't be a four. If two, three, none of these can be, oh, that can't be two or three. That's a one. These can't be fives. This is just basic elimination now. I can get rid of a one there. Now, two plus that equals that. So we get rid of the seven. One plus. So this can't be six. And this can't be six. And this can't be four. Ooh. Oh, this can't be six because of the six up there. Oh, just keep looking around the grid and we will get somewhere. Right, eight there. So that's a seven, nine pair. That can't be seven. This can't be seven. Ooh. This, is, uh, this can't be six anymore. That's an eight. That's two or three. This is also five or six, forming a pair with that one. Seven, nine, two, three, eight. This is four, five, or six, forming a triple. So this is a seven, eight, nine, triple. In fact, that can't be nine because nine's in one of the circles. Six can't be here because there's a five, six pair. So that's where six is in row seven. We get four down there. That's not a four. Actually, we should have known that. This must be a one. This is from two, three, and four. Oh, this can't be a three. It could be four, five, six, or seven. It can't actually be a four. I've just spotted that. Um, Okay, has that petered out or am I just missing something? Probably the latter. So two, five, and seven are the remaining digits here. If, ooh, three plus something equals eight or nine, so that's five or six. Now, nine and six in this row, so that can't be six. This can't be nine, that can't be six. This is seven or eight. So this can't be seven anymore. So it's either three plus four is seven or three plus five equals eight. Yes, yes it is. So that's a three. This isn't three. Can it still be a four? Yes, I think it can. One, three, eight, four, three, no. Let's see what that is either. Ah, oh, where does two go in the box? It doesn't go here because there's a one, two, three triple in that column. So two does go here. That's not two. That's not two. And that can't be three now. This has gone up to at least seven. That can't be a seven. So there's a four, five pair. That's a three. This isn't nine. Uh, four or five pair, so that's a seven. That's an eight. That's giving us more 
calculations, we get a 5 here. Um, we get a 4 here and a 7 on the circle. This is now either 2, 5 or 1, 6. But surely the 7 is going to finish other things off. Five pair there that I can't resolve. Nine, eight, seven. So one, six, and a four here. That must be one, three, four on the eight arrow. And now we're moving along swimmingly. We haven't got anywhere near Jonathan's age yet, but we will get there, I'm sure. Uh, that can't be two. This can't be three or four now. No, this can't be nine. Yes, we know where the nine is in these circles. Of course, it's here. Here, yeah. this is now a six seven pair. Ah, oh, and that hasn't resolved this circle. But five and four there, so this is a six. That's a three. That's a two. This is not a six. So it must be two plus five equals seven. Eight, and that is sorting out everything in the bottom of the grid. Literally, almost everything is going to be done now. That 9 and 7 has been resolved. The 5, 6 pair has been resolved. That's adding up wrong, so that is a disaster. Okay, I did something wrong in the 8 box. Let's go back to here. That is a 6, 7 pair. What the heck did I do wrong? 9 had to be here. I then deduced this was a six. Is it can't? So this is two or three. Couldn't that be a seven? I thought I ruled that out a while ago. I think I did. Nine, seven, six, three, oh, five there. I think I wrote the wrong number in. Four there. Five, six. No, this is still wrong. Oh, what have I done? How far back does this go? Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm failing to read the arrow. These arrows go down there and then back up to that one. So sorry. Right, the arrows are clearly marked. And I am not reading them. Okay, we've got to here and we're fine. Right, let's do it slowly. That can't be three. This can't be six or seven. That's a five. Four there. Two, three. Three plus five equals eight. Eight equals six plus two. One plus two plus six makes nine. That's a four. Right, seven and eight have been sorted out. They're actually a nine eight pair. This can be a three now. Yes, that's working. Five, we can do the six and seven. Oh, Absolute heart attack time, right. Nine and two there. Here we go. Almost all the bottom six boxes done. So now we can be finishing off. This can't be a nine. It's got to be a two. What have we got here? Five, six, and eight. And here, one, four, and seven. That can't be a one. This can't be a one because it's higher than the two. So one is there. Uh, this can't be a seven. So that's a four, six, five, eight, seven. Perfect. That's become a three. This, I think, has become a seven by elimination. So three plus four equals seven. Six and nine there. Two and five and eight. And a two at the start of the arrow. Look, I'm going to be able to leave Jonathan's age to be the last two digits I fill in, which is great. We will find out his age at the very end. And here we go. His age is 18. Oh, sorry. Mis mistyped a number there. There we go. So, excellent puzzle. That really is entertaining. Um, so sorry about my brain freeze towards the end there. Um, yeah, Jonathan is young. If you... Uh, Sure, there'll be a way of finding out what my mother's age would have been somewhere in the puzzle. Maybe not. I think she would have been 86 today. I can't see an 86 to run together to show her age going backwards, perhaps. Then. Up the arrow. Anyway, um, that's 
a lovely puzzle, Winged Thermarrow by Jonathan. Now, I did want to revisit the Bremster puzzle. I got to here. I think it was here. And I then announced very carefully, oh, I must be careful not to see those two as on a German whispers line. The green, they're not green. The line connecting them is grey. And nonetheless, about 15 seconds later, I then deduced that this couldn't be, um, what was it? That it couldn't be a three because it would be too close to that number, which is absolute nonsense because they are not connected in that way. Now, what I should have done is work out that on this line, this one is 7, 8, or 9. That gives us a triple there and forces this to be a 1, which puts a 6 there. That puts a 4 here. Get a lot of this um, line done now, which was the most important stuff. These become 9s, in fact. After that's a 4. Um, that becomes a nine because it's the only place. Now that's a seven, eight pair. Four, five, six, and actually that has to be a seven. Then we are on a line down here and we've got a one and a three there and an eight here. And this now has to be a six because it sees nine, eight, and seven and it's big next to a one. And that's how we should have moved forward at that point rather than me deducing that couldn't be a three. So apologies to Bremster. Thank you for pointing that out, those who did. Uh, the, the rest of the solution would be exactly the same after that point. Uh, but I did miss a trick there. Embarrassingly, having just announced what the trick was, I then I pointed out the elephant trap and walked straight into it. So let's hope I haven't done the same today. I don't think so. This was today's, I believe this is the correct solution and that Jonathan a Jonathan's age is 18. Once again, I wish him a very happy birthday, and I hope you'll join me and Simon for streaming Bubba Is You tomorrow. As it is, bye for now.